my brothers and sisters, we gather for worship in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Today the Church remembers Saint John of the Cross, born to an impoverished noble family near Avilar in Spain in 1542. Juan de Vaquez was brought up by his widowed mother and went to a charity school. He worked as a nurse and received further education from the Jesuits before he entered the Carmelite order when he was 21. Having distinguished himself at Salamanca University, he was ordained in 1567 and met Teresa of Avila soon afterwards. Smaller stature, he made a great impression on her and she persuaded him to help with her reform of the Carmelite order. His labours brought him into conflict with the religious authorities, and he was imprisoned for a period. Yet these experiences prompted some of his finest poetry <coughs> and mystical writing. In particular, John describes the dark night of the soul as it is purified on its approach towards God. After ten years as superior to different houses, he again fell, foul, pow, fell out of favour and was banished to Andalusia in southern Spain, where he died after a severe illness on this day in 1591. John and all the saints were faithful unto death and now dwell in the heavenly kingdom forever. As we celebrate their joy, let us bring to the Lord our sins and weaknesses, and ask for his mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against thee and against our neighbour, in thought and word and deed, through negligence through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are heartily sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of thy Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve thee in newness of life, to the glory of thy name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In silence we pray. O God, the Judge of all, who gave your servant John of the Cross a warmth of nature, a strength of purpose, and a mystical faith that sustained him even in the darkness, Shed your light on all who love you, and grant them union of body and soul in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, I did not come proclaiming the mystery of God to you in lofty words or wisdom, for I desired to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I came to you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. My speech and my proclamation were not plausible words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of the Spirit and of power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, on the power of God. Yet among the mature we do speak wisdom, though it is not a wisdom of this age or a ruler of this age, who are doomed to perish. But we speak God's wisdom, secret and hidden, which God decreed before the ages of our glory. None of the rulers of this age understood this, for if they had, they would not have been crucified, the Lord of glory. But as it is written, what no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the human heart conceived, 
what God had prepared for those who love him. These things God has revealed to us through the Spirit. For the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response to the song. Tear open the heavens and come down, O Tear open the heavens and come down, O I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Tear open the heavens and come down, O Lord. You will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not sleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Tear open the heavens and come down, O Lord. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he that shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in, from this time forth and for evermore. Tear open the heavens and come down, O Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I have called you friends, says the Lord, for all that I have heard from my Father, I have made known to you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Jesus said to the disciples, I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. On that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, Those who love me will keep my word, and my Father will love them and we will come to them and make our home with them. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to thee, O Christ. Power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Father, we thank you for the life of your church, and this day give thanks for the life, writings and ministry of St John of the Cross. Pray for all vocations to the religious life. Give thanks for the influence of the religious life on this place across the centuries. Lord, in thy mercy. Father, we pray for your world. For places of conflict, <coughs> remembering Ukraine, Syria, China, the Yemen, the Holy Land, all places of natural disaster. We pray for all whom you call to exercise political leadership, that they may act with integrity and for the good of all people. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for the communities in which we are sent, for our friends, families, colleagues and neighbours, for this community of Carshalton. Give thanks for its vibrancy, for its history, its diversity. We pray your ongoing blessing upon it. 
Lord, in thy mercy. Father, we remember before you all those who are sick, those awaiting or recovering from surgery, those awaiting the outcome of medical tests, and all whose treatment is long term. We remember those whose names are laid upon the altars of this church, praying for Sally, Mindy, Matrix, <coughs> Roy Lewis, Gaynor Lewis, Rachel Owen, Stephen Burton. Lord, in thy mercy, God of resurrection, we give you thanks for all those who have walked with us the way of faith and who are now at rest, and all those whose faith is known to you alone. We remember the recently departed, Joan Zumbel, Chris Pennington, Hilary King, and we pray too for those whose anniversary is at about this time, and all who mourn the loss of a loved one. May they know your peace and your loving embrace. Lord, in thy mercy. So we gather up these and all of our prayers in the company of Blessed Mary, John of the Cross, and all the saints. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son. Our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. May the God of peace sanctify you. May he so strengthen your hearts in holiness that you may be blameless before him at the coming of our Lord Jesus with John of the Cross and all his saints. Peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. We offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread and this wine to offer, the earth has given and human hands have made. They will become for us the bread of life and the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right, so it is. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy always and everywhere to give you thanks holy father almighty and eternal god through jesus christ your son our lord we rejoice in the glorious splendor of your majesty for you have given us a share with john of the cross in the inheritance of the saints in light in the darkness of this passing age they proclaim the glory of your kingdom chosen as lights in the world they surround our steps as we journey on towards the city of eternal light, where they sing the everlasting song of triumph. In communion with angels and archangels, and all who have served you on earth and worship you now in heaven, we raise our voices to proclaim your glory, forever praising you and saying, 
holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine and port may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he blessed them. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine, <coughs> again praised him, gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, to shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross, bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation. We proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes, that justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving heart and bring us with blessed Mary, John of the Cross, and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ, and with Christ, and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. with John of the Cross and all the saints. Let us pray as our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, for we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us. This is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his son. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come and die, but speak the word of me, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. God of truth, whose wisdom set her table and invited us to eat the bread and drink the wine of the kingdom, help us to lay aside all foolishness and so to live and walk in the way of insight that we may come with your servant John of the cross to the eternal feast of heaven through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. And also with you. God give you grace to follow John of the Cross and all of his saints in faith and hope and love. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you this Advent and always. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.